Hey everybody, Kevin Barnett here, Carbide 3D Studio. Today, let's talk about software. We have our standard version of Carbide Create. It is a robust platform designed to get your CNC creativity rolling. We also offer an extended version of that software, Carbide Create Pro 7. Today, I wanna to have an honest conversation about Carbide Create Pro 7, why you might want it, the features included, how to make money with it, and the economics behind paying for it. You'll find as you continue with CNC, you're gonna to wanna to experiment with new materials, with new methods, give yourself the tools for that exploration. That's really what we're talking about here, are new tools. No different than adding a physical tool to your garage that sometimes you buy for a specific reason, or sometimes you buy because you know you can build into it, or once you have it, you will start to utilize it. Start to think of software in that same way. You should also head over to my.carbide3d.com. We have a wealth of video training, including a brand new unit on Carbide Create Pro. This is an opportunity for you to go in depth with each one of the features. We'll take you through the settings, give you example projects, and set you up to have success with the software. Let's dive in. Let's give you some information to make an educated choice. When it comes to those new tools, what are the features you can utilize? First for me is Engrave. Engrave is an outstanding opportunity to add a whole bunch of detail to projects you're already doing or explore marking new things. Whether it's security markings on computers or phones or other high dollar things that you own, or the opportunity to engrave an acrylic sign and edge light it or bottom light it. This to me is a no brainer and a simple but powerful tool for your CNC. When paired with our MC Etcher diamond tip drag engravers, you have the opportunity to easily add detail to things you're already making or some new standalone projects. Next up, rest machining. This simply saves you time. You're able to hog out large portions of materials inside pockets or around features, then come back with a smaller bit and instead of cutting air, just cut those detailed areas. Time is money, rest machining is gonna save you a lot of time. We've also added ramping because we want your end mill entries to be a little bit less like this. Particularly when you're cutting extremely hard materials, be it hardwood or metals, you want those end mills to have a much smoother entry. On a contour, you're gonna see a little slide in. It'll slow down the feed rate. It'll also ramp in. Just imagine going down a ramp to achieve the next depth of cut. When it enters a pocket, you're gonna see a helix entry. All of this is designed to reduce the wear and tear and definitely the breakage, particularly when you're cutting metals and don't just think about big end mills, but also small end mills for that detailed work. Also inside Pro, you'll find our 3D tool. This is an opportunity for you to either add a 3D element to 2D projects you already have like a flag or do standalone 3D cuts. You can import a variety of different file types, JPEG, PNG, bitmaps, you can do height and terrain, you can do logos, all kinds of options here. And with our new STL import, you have an even wider variety of file types and objects that you can bring into your design space. All of the objects you create in the 3D modeling space can be cut with just two toolpaths included with Pro, 3D roughing and 3D finishing. 3D roughing is a lot like rest machining. It's gonna use large diameter end mills to carve out a ton of material and get your piece ready for finishing. You'll leave just a little bit for 3D finishing to come back and run a parallel pass to bring out the details in whatever you're making. Simplicity of execution to beautiful details is what we're going for here. Bring in those ball end mills, reduce the step overs. You're gonna be really pleased with what you're able to make. Pro also allows for G-code output. You can inspect and edit the G-code itself to further customize your CAM programs. You can keep separate .nc files if you wish and run them on non-carbide 3D machines. I didn't want to bury the lead on you here. How do you make money with Create Pro 7? I love Engrave. I use this program on the daily and I find myself going back to Engrave over and over again. The tiny details that you can add are unrivaled. And it's so simple. Diamond tip drag engravers, when you put them on metal, brass jewelry, aluminum, the sides of computers, front and back, either security markings or for decorative aspects, you will not find a greater ease of use to dollars returned than engrave. Edge lit acrylic signs, if you wanna just make money, make those, impress people. They love it. The detail, the colors, it's money in your pocket. Drag engraving is an absolute monster. Rest machining is another simple proposition. It conserves your greatest commodity, your own time. 
Whether this is a business and actually time equals money, or this is a hobby and you have limited time out in the shop. Either way, rest machining is going to allow you more time to continue down the road of CNC or whatever project you're on. 3D elements. Here's where you can offer new things to customers you already have and add elements to stuff you already make. It doesn't have to be a standalone 3D object. It can simply be 3D on top of something you have that allows a customer another opportunity to revisit your shop and have something new and promote you again. That's what it's all about, taking customers to some other place. Turn your stuff up to 11. If you can see, yeah. the numbers all go to 11. Look, right across the board. Oh. 11, oh, 11, and most 11, and then amps go up to 10. Exactly. How about the economics of Carbide Create Pro 7? It's $120 a year. That's the subscription. It gets you every update. We've been adding to the program. Those that have been with us for a while know we're continually adding features and trying to give you better value for your money. We're talking about $10 a month. So you need to ask yourself, can you make $10 a month with your CNC? It's one modified cutting board, one pair of earrings, one custom engraved Zippo lighter, one custom flag, one security marking on a computer. You get the idea. 10 bucks. These tools allow you to expand your creativity and your capability at a zero dollar mark, or probably more likely a profit. You wanna make more money? Mm. Okay. CNC machines and the software that comes with them are money makers, not money takers. You're putting more tools at your disposal for your art, for your hobby, for your business. We think Carbide Create Pro 7 is a compelling proposition. If you wanna learn more, the link is in the description below. Hopefully we've provided you more information. Now you can make an educated choice that's right for you. We'll be back here in the studio with more information, ideas, and inspiration.